When the weather becomes warmer and rainfall patterns change, insects like mosquitoes that transmit diseases such as malaria and chikungunya breed faster and survive in places they didn't before, exposing more people to these potential killers. It's been estimated that climate change will cause approximately 15 million additional cases of malaria each year. Dengue fever is also a potentially deadly viral disease transmitted by mosquitoes. It is spreading rapidly, with reported cases increasing almost tenfold in the last two decades. The virus is now present in over 100 countries. The changing climate also means we will see more ticks and the diseases they carry, like Lyme disease. The life cycle and number of ticks are strongly influenced by temperature. When there's little water, we can't grow and produce food. On the other hand, too much can bring more pests and diseases that damage crops. Heavy rains can also destroy entire harvests. Livestock and plants we depend upon for food can't be raised without water. Rising seawater levels bring salty water to coastal areas, making agriculture impossible. All this means our food production systems will be affected, and this can cause or increase malnutrition, even in places there was none before. Natural disasters are becoming more frequent and severe. When extreme weather events like cyclones and floods hit, they can cause injury, death and deadly diseases like cholera. Cholera, hepatitis E and other illnesses can spread through water, so when we drink it or come into contact with it, we get sick. As the air, fresh water sources and oceans become warmer, this leads to an increase of pathogens that cause diarrheal diseases. They are one of the most important causes of death in children around the world. The rising temperatures will cause increased heat-related illnesses like heat stress and heat stroke. The most at risk are the very young, the very old, and people with chronic conditions such as heart, lung and kidney disease. This is worrisome, as heart disease is the number one cause for death worldwide. Heat waves are becoming more frequent and severe. The last decade has included the hottest years on record. Air pollution is a great concern to our health. It's the cause of 9% of all deaths worldwide. Children are particularly vulnerable. Air pollution is closely linked to climate change. The extraction and burning of fossil fuels is a major source of air pollutants, and many of them cause global warming. Wildfires also produce a range of harmful air pollutants, known to cause cancer and increase the risk of heart attack or stroke. Climate change will also affect our health in indirect ways. When resources are scarce, they become a reason for conflict, and conflict forces people from their homes. There are often many different reasons why conflict erupts and why people decide to leave their home. Climate change contributes to this and makes existing grievances worse. As you can see, climate change is a serious threat to human health. The World Health Organization estimates 250,000 more people will die every year because of climate change-related health impacts. Everybody will be affected by climate change, but some are more at risk than others. The most vulnerable will be the least able to cope. We know because we're already seeing them in our waiting rooms. <laughs>